scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The gospel of the kingdom. Hallelujah. The entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation is an attempt to convey the story and the message of a kingdom. And no matter what we become if we do not understand the system of God's kingdom and how it operates. My passion in life, aside from helping men experience the reality of the Holy Spirit, is to bring them into a comprehension of the structure, the operation, and the principles of the kingdom. This is what we do week in, week out. Hallelujah. There is a culture we are initiating you into. There is a way of life. There is a pattern. There is an understanding. There is a mindset that you are receiving. And our success, as far as this prophetic assignment is concerned, for this season, is only realized if you are actually becoming what we are praying and laboring that you become. Is that true? Hallelujah. For as long as we have crowds and people keep clapping, people keep falling down, getting up, getting messages, traveling around, and the messages keep spreading, that is great. But are you being changed? Are you becoming this, this epistle that we are trying to carve and chisel? Praise the Lord. I told you that this is a school. There is a long curriculum of the spirit and week in week out we keep examining different aspects of the kingdom so that we can come into a comprehension it's not just for you to have rema and say oh every time you stand give me this mountain there's a message like that no no or commanding result or any of these great messages you love the goal is that you become an expression of this thing. Hallelujah. Such that wherever you go, you become an envoy. Hallelujah. Grace is granted unto you to begin to reproduce the things that you have learned. Acts chapter 1 said, I write these things to you, O excellent Theophilus, of all that Jesus began to do and teach. Not just teach, do and teach. Hallelujah. I have spent my life helping the body of Christ to understand that the kingdom of God is not a religious organization. The kingdom of God is a system. Everybody says a system. Made up of a definite structure. And when you understand the structure, the operation, and the patterns of the kingdom, then you will be able to be a worthy ambassador. God will now be able to empower you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please get this. I, I want you to, I want to burn it into your spirit. I want you to understand that this is what we are doing. So that you can align yourself and you can have a reference from which to gauge your spiritual progress. Is that true? If you look at, we're in November right now. If you look at yourself from January till now, how many principles of the kingdom do you know and understand that you can apply consistently to deliver results? 
if all you have done is to attend the meetings very faithfully but you have not come into a comprehension a knowing a recognition and understanding of this thing that we seek to teach then our hearts are not fulfilled hallelujah it's very difficult for believers in the body of Christ to sit down and learn and understand the principles of the kingdom we prefer to receive we prefer pray for me lay hands on me cast the devil out of me do this and that you know prophesy breakthrough and do all of that and that is wonderful that's why we spend the last week of every month to minister to God's people because it's part of what we are anointed for but I needed to understand that our pride and our satisfaction is not that you honor the meetings every Friday so that we do not come and preach to empty chairs but that you are being transformed you are being transformed in a way that we are seeing hallelujah that's why every time I have the opportunity to bless my sweetheart the dear lady I love her so much because I have seen as little as this lady is this lady has had encounters with Jesus she has had encounters with different kinds of people as little as this girl is she would be in the midst of people who are maybe playing some ungodly songs and she will confront them and say Jesus doesn't like this this is this is a mindset are you getting my point so there is a training and because her mind is innocent she's not received any junk from the past so the work of her own right now is not renewing the mind her own is building and transformation are you getting me there's there's nothing that has corrupted and and spoiled the spiritual genes of her mind so it's easy for the holy spirit to be able to walk this lady will grow with this ideology are you getting me now and when she gets to certain levels you will see how mighty god will use her to her she's just playing she's a little girl she's just a lady who is passionate about jesus she has come to know jesus as a person she has come to honor the things of the lord there's one other little baby a prayer band baby every time i have the opportunity to come and pray with the prayer band when you come very tiny girl you just see great people praying and sweating and you see one very tiny girl also following them whenever people lift their hands you watch what they are doing and lift her hands too we call this a programming it's a mindset hallelujah if she walks consistently under that atmosphere that mindset will become a stronghold in her and no devil will take it away are you getting my point a stronghold is not a demonic word stronghold is whatever has held your mind captive so that you become its victim and if that becomes the word of God and the operation of the kingdom then you will begin to reflect Christ by default hallelujah are, are you understanding me now so as as we seek to teach it's important you understand that we are not just displaying new revelations or attempting to tell you to see the progress we are making spiritually no no we are trying to unveil to open you up to the structure and the dimensions just like you come into a school system you come naive and a lecturer keeps teaching you and building you is that true curriculum course after course a time can come when you can turn back and say kite to an extent I understand what I'm studying how many of you don't lift your hands can turn back and say after years and years of sitting under the word I understand to an extent to the level to which light has been opened unto me I understand there are many of us that have failed to to discipline our spirits to come into a comprehension of this truth and can I tell you something when you stay in the presence of God you never go back neutral you go back broken or you go back hardened one of these two must happen to you are you getting me it becomes dangerous when you are used to the atmosphere of God's presence because you will have that form of religion so every time they raise the structure you know it is that true every time they are talking about giving you say ah, i can't even list the scripture but the bible says ever learning 
but never coming into the knowledge of the truth and that becomes a dangerous thing have you seen people that every time you try to correct them you can see somebody smoking you try to talk to him and see how he will bombard you with scriptures he will tell you my reverend baptized me even me and my reverend we drank the same beer blah 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 this and that happened and he will try to justify it is that true and he will tell you the bible says for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of god and he believes that you are supposed to be convinced an ideology hallelujah we seek to transfer a mindset are you receiving that mindset is it becoming real in your life because the world will test your conviction about these things we are teaching you is that true you will find people everywhere this conviction will be tested in your relationship and marriage this conviction will be tested in your academics this conviction will be tested in your personal life. This conviction will be tested in your job, your business, your ministry, whatever endeavor. It's not enough just to know the word of God. You must submit to the authority of that word. He said, submit yourself under the mighty hand of God. It is only on that condition that you can resist the devil and he will flee. Please, are you learning something? So if after all of the teachings that we have been teaching and teaching and teaching, and let me use, let me use one lady, come. Hallelujah. If we have been teaching on the structure of the kingdom, look at me, and this lady carries herself alive and goes to chain herself in a very bad and ungodly relationship, what, what does that tell you? It tells you that this ideology has not become spirit and life to her. Is that true? Is that true? Are you following me now? If this lady wants to get married right now, if she has been listening to the truths that we have been teaching, she will now use them as the template, the platform that informs whatever decision she's making. Is that true? Do you understand? So based on that now, God can give us a thumbs up because we are not just doing religion. Somebody is receiving this truth believing it enough to be convicted whether you are supervised or not it has become your way of life hallelujah so a non-believer can come to my sister right now and say see let's go to a party i have money is it not money you are looking for and the lady can tell him um i appreciate your interest in me but i need you to understand that i belong to a kingdom and in that kingdom we have values are you getting me and it is not within the jurisdiction of that kingdom. Many of you are saying, I beg, Jare, they'll be social. Just go, will you die? This is what we are saying. You are not convinced enough. That's why you are ashamed of it. Anything you are ashamed of has not become a solid revelation to you. Is that true? So is this word becoming spirit and life? Have you been applying it? Did you apply it last week? Did it work for you? Hallelujah. If somebody looks at my sister right now and says, you're a very stupid girl and maybe three years ago she would just remove her shoe while he's talking and use the heel of the shoe and wipe the guy's face and say, this is how stupid people behave. You see, that, that would have been the way she would behave. But right now, there is a value system you are higher than this person in understanding. There is a fellowship you have come into that grants you access to behave like Jesus Christ. And based on that understanding, the truth is you are human, so you will be angry. But a scripture from the treasury of the deposit you have made in your spirit, be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. That scripture now ministers to you at that point. And you can look at the person. And just say God bless you and the person is wondering hallelujah or that you see another brother who is just broke and suffering but you know this guy's destiny is going to change it's just that it won't change immediately the world is working and they send some money for you and you remember that the Bible says be good to all men 
especially to they that are of the household of faith and you have submitted to that word and based on that revelation, without supervision, you must not come and give a testimony and say, I have this brother. This is to let you know that I am making progress. I'm applying what I'm being taught. No, not necessarily. But that you can come to this brother and say, my brother, I decided to buy you one tier of rice, one tier of beans, one tier of gari. Let it help you. I know the word of God is working. And by grace, I've been privileged to receive some supply and I'm helping you with it. Listen. Brothers and sisters, if people see you and they do not see the difference between you and them, you are not a real Christian. And that difference is not tongues. That difference is not revelation. That difference is a culture. It's an, it's an atmosphere. It's a lifestyle. It's a walking. You have become so solid. When you joke, you joke the word. When you talk, you talk the word. Whatever it is, even when no matter how boring you sound you have no option you are being reprogrammed and you cannot undo it this is what you must become some of you still use all kinds of bad languages you have sat down here for over two years you didn't delete them you only created a folder for them and when opportunity because said in this nigeria you need these folders when there is need you dust it and bring it out and keep people where they belong Hallelujah. There are many of you who do not read your Bibles and you have never tried to. There is nothing wrong when you have a spiritual predicament. The problem is if you do not even know it is a problem and you are doing it and you are not making any efforts about it. Hallelujah. So are you following what I'm saying? If after all of these meetings now and then this lady comes, she has two boyfriends somewhere one is to supply to bring supply beginning of the month this one the middle of the month then the real one that she's going to marry that she uses their money to help and support and she says wisdom even god you see see look look at me listen listen please i'm not laughing listen let me tell you something if you truly want to be a christian be a christian are you getting my point if you think you're going to play pranks and tricks i want to tell you something the bible says do not be deceived is that in your bible it said god cannot be mocked that means if if you don't receive the recompense of that mindset you have mocked god and the bible says god cannot be mocked praise the lord some of you have been giving bad advices to friends Every time there is a need to do something bad, you are the one they consult. Bible study, they don't consult you. Prayer, they don't consult you. Should we go for night vigil or not? They don't even meet you. But when there is trouble and you want to corner something, they say, go and meet this person. They will arrange everything for you. There are some of you, you are like that. The way they look at you, you just look like a crook. When they want to do anything shady, they just say, oh yeah, come. Tell that guy he's five. You say, oh yeah, I know how to do this. See you must you must change and let people the bible says let your light so shine not before angels before men that they may see the bible wants men to see so are you being changed is your mindset being changed there are some of you that are nursing a lot of unforgiveness and bitterness against your loved ones. In spite of the teaching, we have shouted teaching on rapture, we taught on air time. What do you want us to say again to change your mind? Hallelujah. Some of you, even if we say Jesus Christ is coming tomorrow, you won't change. You say me. When, when Jesus comes, we will settle this issue. Whereas you know that that thing is just a cultural belief. When Jesus comes, he doesn't have time to waste on frivolities. You are going to hell or you are going to heaven. Full stop. Hallelujah. Are you being changed? That when they are doing malpractice somewhere, you know that you know how much you will do this malpractice and how it can help you. But you are constrained by your love for God. And you say, I'd rather fail honorably than do this malpractice. I know that there are many of us who are looking at me, you are just saying, just keep talking, finish sharing the grace, let's get out of here. I know what I will believe and I know what I will not believe.
Hallelujah. So if the word of God is not changing you, such that unbelievers can begin to testify that there is really something about your life. A guy just walks into your room, wants to sleep with you and say, I don't like it. What is the meaning of that? Oh, I don't do this. Oh, I'm not, I don't, I don't like things like this. You know, the, the way I am. See, I don't want to be pregnant. Is that the reason why you are afraid? Or there is more? Praise the Lord. You sit down and you watch a film, a pornographic film. You say, I'm an adult. Please, don't let, nobody should make me a child. And you finish watching that film and you cannot look at the ladies around you and go in peace. You are now praying, fasting, saying, oh God, help the time you would have been using, building in your spiritual life. You just scatter the foundation and you have to start again. Praise the Lord. There are some of us who are together and you see a lot of friends. They come with their car, whether their father's car or whoever. And they say, ah, bros, are you going? They are calling you bros. And they are calling you to go and do something that is not of the kingdom. And the pressure is mounting on you. They are saying, hi, you now. Wow. And the thing is pinching you. They are saying, okay, but I will come. I won't drink. I won't smoke. Can't you say no? The Bible says the grace of God has appeared unto all men. Teaching us to say no. Are you convinced that this word can make you a leader and it can make you a great person? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If we are achieving this, then I know that we are making progress. But if we are not achieving this, then sincerely speaking, before men, ministry may be moving. But before God, there is little effect that is, is being created. Hallelujah. Let your conviction about spiritual things be strong. I love the lady that said they brought somebody that was dead or dying. And she laid, she laid hands on the person. Some of you will join in the shout, hey, hey, at least try. If you try and it doesn't work, no problem. But let it be that among the 12 people who were lamenting, you took a step and it didn't work, no problem. God will honor you for launching out to take that step. Some of you, when you want to pray, they tell you, please, oh, this is not the issue of prayer. Because you have not been doing it. When did you suddenly become a man of God? It has not been your lifestyle. You talk the way they talk. You do everything. Suddenly, you remember one koinonia message. You drank with them yesterday. Now you want to lay hands and they say, for what? I'd rather lay hands than you. We drank together. Be different. Be different. So different that you are noted for certain things about the kingdom. And when there is a need to do certain things as far as the kingdom of God is concerned, you become the reference point. This is transformation. And this is what this teaching is all about. And then at that point, God will empower you to demonstrate the reality of that kingdom. You will manifest wisdom that is beyond the comprehension of men. God will bless you. Every time people see you, they know you are a leader. You must not have PAs and people following you. No. There is a culture. There is a way of behavior. They are sharing food. Somebody gets, somebody is very hungry. And you are not so hungry. And that's the last meal. And the Holy Spirit says, give the person. And you are looking. You are saying, no, I'm not giving any. I came, I got my, you know, all these kinds of things. While you're seated, you are going to pray in one minute and say, Lord, I don't want to waste my time. I truly want to see transformation in my life. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I do not just want to waste my time listening to Rema upon Rema, learning, learning all the cliches, learning all the powerful words, learning all the vocabularies, creating a form of religion without a sincere passion
there are many of us who attend at least three or four programs every week but the fruit of the transformation is not evident in our lives we still talk the way we used to talk we still behave the way we still behave there is nothing that shows that there is a culture of the kingdom working in us Ancient words ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts, oh, and the ancient words in part. Ancient words. Ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words in one more time. Ancient words ever true. Changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words impart. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the change me this is always my prayer koinonia is about change the symbol of koinonia in a man's life is change transformation 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 let there be change hallelujah I'm going to teach tonight briefly and then we'll pray. And voice of his presence. And voice of his presence. Praise the bread of life. Emmanuel. God with us. The one who saves. Praise the cup of life, that glorious spring that washes our sins away. And voice of his presence. Matthew 5. Help us, Spirit of the Living God. He's the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God. You're the Holy Ghost, Scepter of the King of Kings. You're the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Age. And voice of his presence. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All through scripture, we see that 
God's idea of the church or the believer has been to create an envoy that will communicate certain things that are in the mind of the spirit to the human race for every season. Hallelujah. An envoy is, is the highest governmental representative it's a governmental representative that is sent on behalf of a government on a mission, an assignment. Hallelujah. If we need to send certain people, one of our brothers is getting married tomorrow and we're sending a few people. They are envoys. Hallelujah. Whatever we stand to represent is what we want to see them promote there. If we have a gift for the couple, what happens? We give them the gift and we trust them with that gift. Hallelujah. With an assignment to go and deliver that gift. Hallelujah. And there are certain people that God has anointed to be envoys of his presence. Carriers, distributors to infect territories with the presence of God the power, the culture of the kingdom. Hallelujah. And tonight we are going to explore that understanding. Say after me, I am an envoy. Say it, I am an envoy. A representative. I'm an ambassador. Mean it from your heart. Say, I am an envoy. Hallelujah. Matthew 5. Jesus himself taught us this in chapter 5. From verse 13, he said, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its savor, with what shall it be salted? He said, It is thereafter good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ready? 14. One to read. Ye are the light of the world. Stop. He said, I am sending you as an envoy into a system. That is characterized by darkness. Darkness in scripture talks of confusion. Talks of death. Talks of sin. Whatever does not have the charisma of God in it is darkness. And the Bible says ye are the light. It didn't say you have the light. It says you are the light. Hallelujah. You are a city. That is set not like a city. You are a city. You have been elevated upon a hill. He said you cannot be hidden. A Christian. A walking Christian. Is not just one who has given his life to Jesus Christ. It's not just one who prays in tongues. It's not just one who is in ministry. It's not just one who avoids sin. Great. All of these things are great. It's not even just ones who have rema. No, a Christian is one who has taken the mandate of the kingdom as a personal responsibility. He has come into the understanding that he's not just a son, he's not just a servant, he is an envoy. He has come into a place of kingdom responsibility. That not only have we received of God, but we have been mandated to deliver something. Hallelujah. Envoys of his presence. When Jesus walked upon the earth, the Bible says, we beheld his glory as of the one of the only begotten. The Bible says he was full of grace and truth. And everywhere he went, the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the holy ghost is that true and with power and he went about doing what he was an envoy of the goodness of god because god was with him he carried the divine presence of god and he demonstrated the reality of that divine presence he had a culture the bible says every time he taught men were astonished they said what wisdom is this what authority is this we have not seen this in this fashion Hallelujah. When Jesus walked to you and you were sick, there will be a dramatic demonstration of the revelation of the kingdom. 
he went to Bethesda and saw a man who had lain there 38 years. The Bible says he looked at him and he said, uh, what did he even tell him? What was the question again? He said, do you want that I'll make you whole? And he said, there is no man that would help me as soon as I want to move to the, to the, to the, to the waters. Somebody else will jump into it. And listen, look at an envoy. He said, no problem. In other words, all this you're grumbling is not necessary. I have come. Cheer up. He said, pick up your bed and go. One minute. A problem of 38 years dissolved in one minute. That is the character of an envoy. He steps into a place and begins to legislate on me. No grammar, no long story, the reality of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Charles and Francis, hunter of blessed memory, great men and women of God. One time, they had so much of the presence of God upon them. They entered a meeting and there were people on wheelchairs and they start. They, they didn't even tell any story. No prayer, no nothing. They brought an atmosphere and a culture and they demonstrated it flawlessly. 100 people, they lifted them out of the wheelchair. 100. Envoys of his presence. Hallelujah. When Naaman was afflicted, the Bible tells us in 2 Kings chapter 5 that Naaman was the captain of, 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 of Syria. He was a great and mighty man. The Bible says, but he was leprous. And on account of his leprosy, when they came and fought the nation of Israel, the Bible says they took a little slave girl. Is that true? And in the passage of time, there was one strange envoy who was a seer who does not just go out anyhow. The Bible called him Elisha hallelujah and the little girl told the captain he said oh that you would just follow me there is somebody i know who can help you and the man sluggishly said are you serious you don't know my situation hallelujah and cut the long story short they met the king and listen when the king was afraid nobody told elisha that the man elisha was watching like a television from his room and he said quickly tell the king why is your heart casted? Let him come and know that there is an envoy. That there is a prophet. This land is not barren. There are ambassadors who are alive and strong. Who will not let the powers of darkness lord it over people. God did not leave himself across this territory without a witness. He said send him to come. And when he came, Elijah did not even go out. He sent Gehazi. He said, go and tell him it's a simple case. Go and watch seven times and go back free. Ah, that's simple. An envoy is speaking. There is a backing behind him. Hallelujah. One time there was scarcity and Jesus, listen, Jesus was trying to teach the disciples the mindset of being envoys. And when the people had not eaten, Jesus looked at the disciples. He said, go and give them food. Come on now, Jesus. Ah, the disciples said, no, this is not part of our ministry. Our ministry here is to help you. Don't disgrace us here. There is no food. These people are plenty. Jesus was teaching them something. He said, every time you see people think of dispensing, don't just think of receiving you are an envoy wherever you go go as light study the terrain of darkness and solve the problem don't join in the sympathy hallelujah are you getting blessed tonight that you are an envoy of his presence god has mandated you with an unction with an anointing your rema will not help the world until there is a demonstration of the practical reality of the fact that god lives in a man and the apostle calls it the mystery of godliness that god can dwell in a man such that you see an ordinary man but he's not just ordinary he's carrying a backing that this earth cannot speak the man tells you you are blessed and all the forces of nature align themselves and make that word come to pass. That's an envoy. Hallelujah. 
there are many of our homes, listen to me, that are under demonic yokes. There are many of our family members that if no one arises to help them, they will die. You are that envoy. God seeks envoys that he will send to different territories. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I've had the privilege of counseling people week after week. And oh, what joy fills my heart. The moment the people begin to come one by one, I am conscious of the fact that I am an envoy. And you see them coming and crying, Oh man of God, the devil has oppressed us. And I tell them, cheer up. I don't tell them, cheer up as stories. I don't tell them, cheer up as many men of God. Just comfort people without result. They say, don't worry. Uh, our Lord and God, no envoy. There is nothing that shows that you are an envoy. Darkness comes and the person goes back with that darkness. We must contend for levels where if men meet you just once, they will know they met an ambassador. Don't get emotional about this message and not do anything about it. Hallelujah. The family came to me for counseling. One of their sons had given the family a very big problem. And when they came, I told them, I said, it's okay. This is the devil here. Hallelujah. In less than one minute, the devil is casted out. I prophesied blessings to the family. It was not up to two days. Their father bought a new car, an envoy. This is not trial and error. You have become a portal for heaven to find expression at every given time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do you believe that there is a dimension of kingdom assignment that has been committed unto you to be a demonstrator of the presence, the reality, the culture, the life of the kingdom? I vowed to God and I cried years ago and I still cried. I said, Lord, I don't want to be those many preachers with rema that cannot be defended. As a student, before you graduate, there's something called defense. All the stories you have been talking, you are going to stand and say it before people that matter. Is that true? They are going to give you a topic that you think validates you for graduation. Oh, Jesus is this, the same yesterday, today and forever. He can do this, he can do that. And they bring somebody oppressed and you are just looking and wondering. This is why we teach you these things. So that you'll be equipped. Oh, I've had testimonies of many of our people and I've been so blessed. The destruction they are doing to the kingdom of darkness in their spheres. Some of them just went home. They had been waiting. This strike, as bad as it is, has given an opportunity for some people to arrange Satan in their family once and for all. They went home as envoys. Hallelujah. The koinonia teachings that we send by the Spirit of God, they go as envoys of power. Envoys of the presence of God. That's why a lot of people have been touched that we may never see. While we are sleeping, the Bible says, Abel, though dead, yet speak it. For as long as the jurisdiction of our Christianity is just to receive, get blessed, find a life partner, be very happy, get breakthrough, we will never be relevant as far as the advancement of God's kingdom is concerned. Are you listening to me? Unfortunately, this is what the congregation of the Nigerian church is predominantly made of. People who come to God with numerous problems, God solves the problem and they don't want any kingdom responsibility again. All they want is to sit down and let a great man of God keep displaying the anointing, keep doing everything and the people keep sitting there. Are you going to church? Yes, I'm going to church. You go. No. See, listen, brothers and sisters, no matter how much we love people, not everybody in this city is going to be able to come here. Are you getting me? Is that true? No matter how we love people, there are many people. Sometimes people send us messages and say, I wish, I wish that Koinonia will come and have a program or will have a program somewhere. And I tell them, who gave you our number? And they now say, oh, a brother somewhere. I say, go and tell that person to pray for you. Hallelujah. 
take the step and fail honorably, God will bless you. If you are ashamed and embarrassed because of your ego, forget about being a champion in the kingdom. Many of you, this is what is stopping us. Hallelujah. My own blood sister did not have a job for a long time. I knew that this thing was demonic. I just have not been home for a very long time. And when I was going home, I, I, I had the opportunity to meet her and I prayed with her. I told her, I said, she was trying to give me explanation. I said, don't worry. The explanations are not necessary. Believe me, I know what the problem is. And I prayed for her. And that was the end of it. Praise the Lord. She got a job in Benway State. When can you look at somebody, a barren woman, and say, Madam, you are trying to come for Koinonia. They are not around, but they have been teaching us this thing. And Madam, will you allow me to pray? She will look at you and say, Please, I want Josh. Please. I know what, I'm, I'm serious about this child. I'm not playing here. Don't come and play with my womb. No. You say, Madam, just allow me to pray. And you stand and say, Lord, you are real. And I want you to demonstrate the reality of your kingdom. Some of you say, what if she doesn't give birth? Did you collect money? Did you collect money? You get into trouble if you collected money. Did you collect money? It's just say, madam, let me pray for you. And some of you, for the first time, as you lay hands on the people, suddenly you will see a demonstration of the kingdom. And the person comes back and says, I have not slept in one week. That simple word you said, be healed. I have been sleeping like a baby. And then you know that the kingdom has come in that environment. This has nothing to do with emoji. Are you getting my point? It should be your default life. Do you believe what I'm saying? Look at your loved ones. Brothers and sisters, please look at me. There are some of you in your families, there is nobody who is born again. Be honest with me, is that true? You are the first person God brought out. Who do you think will go and change them? Somebody else? There are many of you, there are forces of witchcraft. I went for a program and when they finished the program, some people just ran to me while I was counseling. And they told me that their mother just broke her leg. Immediately the mother broke the leg. Some of the neighbors, they said, oh yeah, get chicken. Get chicken quick. I said, what is chicken having to do with this broken leg? They said, if you want this leg to heal, get chicken quick. I remember one time my mother hit, um, I think she, I, I don't know what happened. She hit, uh, is it a goat or something? And people, hey, stop. Say she look for one error. She must look for one error or something and put in the mouth of the, of the, 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 the bed or the goat or whatever. Say if you don't do it, ha. A time came, they came to dig a well in our house. They said, sir, we are finished. We need chicken. There's a way we do it for water to come out. You are the envoy that will stop that nonsense in your territory. A bishop in this country, a bishop in this country, baths his children with blood before giving them out for marriage. And one of his daughters called me one time and said, this thing happened to my elder sister. I know what is happening in their house now. The lady cannot give birth. What is all these things? And they want to do it. Bishop! And the man told her, you better come. Home. This thing has been like that. That there are some people that are doing traditional Christianity. I hope you are. You, 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 they are they are born again, but enter their room. There's one ancient arrow that they gave them. And one jazz that they put in the bowl. And some candles. Eh? And some ropes. They don't use them. But they have kept them. When the going gets tough. The tough gets going. They know how to go and pull it out. Many families have not totally divorced themselves. From a lot of tradocultural things. There are still all kinds of witchcraft festivals and cultural activities that happen in our homes people are happy they are comfortable all kinds of devilish sacrifices are given you are that envoy that god is raising listen until your your christianity begins to confront the gates of hell you are still joking if your christianity has not yet begun to pose a threat to the gate of hell 
then you are still playing. There are some of us ladies here, nobody in your family gets married. Will you not be the first person to say, not only will I break that, I will break it first from my life and go back and release everyone that belongs to me from that captivity. Some of us is the cause of poverty. Right from wherever it has come, even if you get job in presidency, you won't be able to buy a bicycle. Why you will not explain? Because there are all kinds of yokes. Hallelujah. And God is empowering you and sending you. Everywhere the Lord grants me the opportunity to go and minister. Every time it's time for the ministration, I just begin to feel happy for that ministry and that territory because I am coming as an envoy. I know that there is a government that backs me and they that with me are mighty and strong. Everywhere, the Bible says he went, he was doing good. Have you been doing good? Please listen to me and take it seriously. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill. Say, I am an envoy. Say it, I am an ambassador. I have a mandate to take the presence, the culture, and the life of heaven to every sphere of influence. If you are not doing this, then you are not advancing the kingdom. Now look at me. I want to show you a very big key and then we'll pray. There are some of you that may say, Sir, but sincerely, I have been taking steps. It's just that it has not been working. How many of you belong to that category? Tell the truth. You have been taking steps. Don't raise your hand if you have not taken any step. I took a step. I was bold. I made an audacious statement at home. I had to go back and cover my head with blankets. Don't be ashamed. How many of us are in that category? You've taken steps. At least you've said something, you prayed for somebody, nothing happened. But at least you did something. Let me see your hands. Listen to what I'm about to show you because you will be very surprised. I want to activate something right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Listen. Please look up. It's one thing to know that you are an envoy of the kingdom. It's another thing to understand the keys that govern the release of God's presence and God's power. I have seen anointed men of God get frustrated when it comes to the point of demonstrating what they teach. When it comes to Bible studies, when it comes to sharing the word, talk is cheap. But when it comes to walking in the reality and bringing men into that experience, this is where a lot of people become powerless. Why is this so? Because if the kingdom of God is all about sharing and teaching, there are some of us right now, there is even no need to be pursuing again because honestly God has opened our eyes to deep things. But there is nothing as frustrating as talking without authority to work in present tense consistently and continually. You come and say, every power in this place, we are going to pray. There are demons keeping people down and you are going to be released. And then at the end of it, you say, all right, I, I hope that this message blessed you. I hope you were motivated and challenged. And the sister said, ah, what about the oppression? You have been making me rejoice. Hallelujah. Or the man of God sees somebody on wheelchair and just dodges as if he didn't see the person. He said, yes, what did you even say is your problem? He said, my own is headache. He said, come, power. Brother, we must contend. Listen, we have not all arrived there, but there should be a, a passion in our heart that we will not stop until we get there. Can I tell you something? One demonstration of the reality of the kingdom will solve 20 or millions of talk. There, there are too much talkatives in the body. Habalists don't talk too much. They demonstrate. Is that true? A priest can be in a city. He cannot even speak very well. Yet the ripple effect of his influence and his presence is being felt. You do anything without inviting him, you will fail woefully. 
and then the failure will make you to come and visit him and you say it's not done this way with this little lesson let it be known to you that i may be in this coven but i'm more influential than your community leaders many of us are looking for pulpit for people to feel the effect jesus did not have a pulpit stephen did not have a pulpit they had presence everybody say presence you don't need a pulpit to let people see the power and the glory of God. You don't need a ministry, a title. What you need is an undeniable presence that principalities and powers must submit to. Hallelujah. I don't know if the woman is in this place, but just permit me to share a bit of the testimony. A woman came to me for counseling and I was surprised. I've heard about this, but I've never seen it one-on-one. -on -one. Hallelujah. A woman who came for counseling, who gave birth to a baby. It was a still birth, but the baby came out with the face of a monkey and the body of a human being. Welcome to planet Earth where everything is possible. Why is it possible? Because there is God, there is Satan. Both are real and are walking. You are the only one who is left. You are not walking. Where that kind of evil can happen, that a spirit can create an imprint of itself and it will materialize in this realm. Where are the envoys? Where are the envoys that are represented across families? The Bible says that in, in, Psalm, in Psalm 82, it was a summoning. God was summoning the mighty men. He said, the Lord stands in the congregation of the mighty. He had to call them and say, what is going on? He said, you have allowed the earth. You know not, neither do they understand. He says, so they grope in darkness. The earth is out of course. Where are the people who are supposed to bring order to the earth? He said, have I not said, ye are gods? And all of you are children of the Most High. He said, but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes. Where are the envoys? Some of you are only benefiting, getting blessed. The devil comes in, you open the door, he enters our families, wreck the lives of people, and we are just watching. Can't you pray? Where is your prayer language? Where is the grace to lock yourself and say, There is an envoy in this house. There is an envoy. The devil is trying to put your family under some kinds of things. Give yourself three days prayer and fasting and tell yourself you are contending to release certain things. But we have a bunch of lazy Christians who all they want is their personal comfort. Three days? Ah, Josh, if it was 6 to 12, I can manage. Everybody say, I'm an envoy. Say it one more time, I'm an envoy. Listen. How many members in your family do you want to see the devil finish them before you know God is speaking to you? I'm talking to someone here. How many people in your community are you not seeing the handwriting of Satan everywhere? What are you doing about it? There are families that don't tight and they are dying and envoy. Have you ever gone to tell them, listen, the reason why this thing is not working is you are violating certain principles of the kingdom. If you tell them and they refuse, no problem. The Bible says, how shall they hear until someone be sent, until there is a preacher. Praise the Lord. I refuse to allow the devil have a field day in my family. Hallelujah. These horns that are judging the lives of people, judging destinies. That's why it gives me pleasure to pray for people. I can pray and minister to people with all my heart from morning till night. Because this is what we are anointed for. We are not just anointed to wear suits. We are anointed to do the works of the kingdom. And can I tell you something? This is the mandate of everybody here. To dislodge the gates of hell. I went home and my younger sister was telling me. She said, I've not slept for days. I said, I, I, what is all this one with my younger sister? 
and I prayed for her. I gave her communion to go and take. She said as soon as she took that communion, she slept in a way she has not slept in a long time. I said, this is a signature to principalities and powers. He is in Joss. Trace him with a spiritual GPS. He has come to Joss. That means the powers of darkness must bow. There are many of us that need to stand and say, wherever I go, the presence of God is there. And because the presence of God is there, there must be order in that place. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He is able more than able to accomplish what concerns me today. He is able more than able to handle everything that comes my way he is able more than I could ever dream he is able he is more than able he's able to make me what he wants me to do now look up I want to show you a very powerful key for years I prayed for people with certain sicknesses and infirmity and I found out that these people were not just healed. There were others that were healed. God was seen breakthrough here and there but there, there seemed like there were certain situations that would not bow. Every time I was praying for the people, I felt helpless myself. You know there's a way you can pray for somebody, you know that nothing really happened. It's just that if you want to lie to yourself. There's a way you lay hands and you are praying for somebody. At the end of the prayer, even the person is looking at you. You know that nothing really happened. That was the situation. And many preachers can get comfortable and say, after all, I'm doing well. There are ministerial doors opening. But I went to the Lord. I said, Lord, what is wrong? I have seen preachers walk to a sick body in less than one minute. One minute. Hallelujah. I was in a crusade ground when I watched Reinhard Bonke with my own eyes. I was there for six hours. I helped to carry some of the people who were sick because I said I must get this anointing. He casually finished preaching and he took a cup of water and devils were just shaking, waiting for a command. And this guy jokingly, without sweating, Blind eyes be open. Deaf ears be open. Cripples walk. I saw it. It's not that they told me. Somebody we wield. I saw this thing. They were lifting the person. Everybody was trying to touch the person. To stand up. I joined with my hand. I said whether I'm contributing to it or not. And this guy stood up and began to walk. Brothers and sisters. It's not that I've never seen cripples walk. But let me tell you. There is something about coming near a real miracle and verifying it for yourself. Hallelujah. I saw blind eyes open. I saw a lot of things happen. I said, Lord, something is not fair in this equation. And whatever it is, I will go and find out. How can a man casually lean on a pulpit and command eyes to open command ears to open and the devil is helpless at his command and i'm here sweating over certain issues and they are just not working that means the problem is not from god the problem is certainly from our end here and i went and i began to explore god wants to answer somebody's question right now i want to show you a powerful mystery never forget it Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 16. Blessed be the name of the Lord. As you open it, just pray in tongues. 
Arise, shine, your light is come. This is what will happen to somebody this night. You will arise, your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. You will arise, your light is come. Tonight God will show you a key. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Prophesy to yourself one more time. I will arise, my light is come. Sing it one more time. I will arise and shine. Arise. And the glory of the Lord. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Matthew 16. Jesus showed us something powerful. A mighty key that will open you to a door of the demonstration of power and of the miraculous please don't trivialize what you are about to hear let the eyes of someone be open my god let the eyes of someone be open hallelujah listen now look up please verse 13 when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi listen Jesus had been walking with his disciples let me have two or three disciples I am Jesus hallelujah now Jesus follow me Jesus went everywhere with these people is that true they watched him demonstrate miracles. They saw a lot of things. These guys were amazed. They saw the sea, the waves. They saw the way situations were helpless at the presence of Jesus. And Jesus said, gentlemen, I always hear you conversing. He said, who do men say that I am? They see this mighty man doing miracles. And I'm sure they have been talking. Some have said he's fake. Some have said this guy may be one Belzebub somewhere. He said, who do they say I am? And the disciples were happy in verse 14. The Bible says that they were so excited because it was a secret question they had been asking themselves. And they said, some say you are John the Baptist. Why? Because John the Baptist had been caught in the prison. And they didn't see him. Some say you are John the Baptist. Some say you are Elijah. Because the Bible says, before the great and terrible day of the Lord, Malachi 4, Elijah, the spirit of prophecy will come. So you are that manifestation of Elijah. And others said, Jeremiah, the weeping prophet, who wrote a lot about the lamentations of, of the spirit of God. He said, oh, you are just one of the prophets. And then he laughed. Now follow me. He said, all right, I have heard what they say. You have walked with me. You have seen me do miracles. You participated. What do you say that I am? Okay, they say I'm a prophet. Fine, they are wrong. But you, you saw the miracle. They said it was fake. But you, you were in Koinonia. You saw the demons. You saw them being casted out. It's not something that you watch on TV that you say it was fake. He said, in light of all that you have seen, what is your conclusion about me? He said, what do you say that I am? Listen. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art Christ, the Son of the living God. Next verse. And Jesus said unto him, hmm, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, son of Jonah. He said, for flesh and blood, as that means this operation is not in the realm of flesh and blood if you ever want to walk in it flesh and blood cannot deliver this dimension of result he said this revelation you've had now it is not by flesh and blood are you getting me 
flesh and blood has not revealed it to you he said but my father which is in heaven listen Peter you know why Jesus asked them Jesus needed to ask them to initiate a principle that he was going to teach the body of Christ verse 18 he said and I say unto you thou art Peter listen and upon this rock what rock the rock of the revelation you just caught what is the revelation the revelation is the fact that nothing just happens by flesh and blood until there is a spiritual understanding that backs the activity upon that revelation i will build the structure of my church that means for every time you will perform any activity there must be a revelation that you build upon otherwise the activity will just be normal are you getting this revelation in other words listen i can lay hands but the realm of the spirit will check what revelation do i know that activates the power over this activity if there is no revelation power will not flow it's a law in the spirit peter i see that you have gotten a spiritual understanding it is upon this understanding i will build my church to function that means whatever they have to do they will first build on a rock a revelation must be the platform for any activity to be carried out communion without revelation powerless anointing without revelation powerless so i can lay hands i tell you i feel the power of the holy ghost in a very mighty way he said i will build my church upon a revelation when you get this revelation you will step into a realm where you become an envoy listen 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 to me the bible says a time came when peter james and john who became the pillars of the church they went with jesus is that true to the mount of transfiguration and the bible says listen we were going to see the practical demonstration of that scripture the bible says they brought an epileptic patient everybody watch come sir they brought an epileptic patient now it was the turn of the disciples to heal is that true the bible says they kept doing everything that jesus did exactly but nothing happened is that in your bible they did exactly they saw jesus doing everything they did it the guy didn't get healed and when jesus came down with three of the disciples he saw his disciples struggling that was what grieved his heart he said until now because he knew it was a law it would have happened without him anyway and the bible says he looked at the boy he says since when did he have this condition and they said since he was a child it throws him into the fire throws him into whatever and he said i believe help thou my unbelief the father said and the bible says jesus rebuked a deaf and dumb spirit out of him and the bible says the guy was manifesting like you always see here and fell as though he was dead people thought he was dead and they picked him up and he got up he was sound the disciples said in one minute we did the same thing what did you do differently is it not the rebuking we also rebuked we rebuked him we were tired power did not flow i'm showing you the key why you have not been seeing the move of god it's not about cramming the words i use you will say the same thing and not see anything there is a secret hallelujah many people think it's about talking like the man of god or dressing like the man of God or reciting what the man of God is saying that will not bring power brothers and sisters 
when Jesus did that and the demons obeyed him the disciples went and met Jesus listen the disciples say ah, why couldn't we cast out see when you are studying your Bible when you see Jesus about to reveal something pay attention the disciples were asking why they could not do these things and Jesus said because of your unbelief very simple like that because of your unbelief and then he says however this kind goeth not but by fasting and prayer hold on so he told them the problem was unbelief and he told them to remedy unbelief part of the spiritual activities that will happen is fasting and prayer when you fast and pray something happens in your spirit that brings you to a position where you can now believe listen just follow me i want to establish something very very powerfully when jesus did that listen a time came when jesus now said all right guys i have tested you a while he said go in my name go not everywhere but to the lost ship of israel go two by two listen now it was their turn the bible says they went they were all fidgeting and they now looked at somebody and said in jesus name suddenly they saw the demon obey they said ah this thing is working oh they tried it again they saw that it worked they didn't even know what was happening and the bible says they returned rejoicing and said finally even they said even the demons were subject to us in thy name jesus said uh -uh, you have not gotten the point don't just rejoice that demons are subject to you rejoice because your name is you know is written in heaven and so on and so forth and then a time came listen jesus said as my father has sent me he said so send i you hold on it's not just saying nature there was a way i walked in the earth there was something that made those miracles to happen he said now i speak that let there be access to you to walk in those dimensions so that you'll be able to see those miracles that means listen please for every time you carry out a spiritual activity and it works let me tell you what happens in the spirit there is a system in the realm of the spirit that cross checks whether you understand what you were doing or not if there is no revelation that backs that activity power will not flow are you getting my point the sons of skiva they call that man they say we adore you the demon said not so i am seeing you in the spirit your house is built on sand where is the rock upon which this laying on of hands is built upon i do not see any revelation for that reason i will not go listen brothers and sisters do you know the power of this communion that we take people just take communion oh he's blessed and we take and nothing happens but the day you step into the revelation of what it can do, the power of God will change that communion to the literal blood and body of Jesus Christ. And it will answer in your body at once. There are many Christians trying to do spiritual motions without revelation. And the Bible told us about those people. It said there were two people that belt one built on a revelation a rock is that true another built on sand he was just building on religion the bible says now the wind came and tested it and the one who was built upon a rock revelation there was he was not just giving for nothing he was not just tithing for nothing there was an insight in the spirit that makes him to carry out that activity so i don't just pray in tongues because i'm seeing prayer band pray i'm praying on a rock there is a revelation i have come to know what prayer can do so every time i pray power flows through that revelation to edify my spirit and produce results this is why the prayer life of many christians is is not working they humiliate themselves pray for hours and wonder why things don't happen What rock have you been laying hands on the sick upon? What is the revelation that granted you access? Based on what did you prophesy to that brother 
and say in the name of Jesus, doors open. What was the rock that supported that prophecy? Hallelujah. When David was about to defeat Goliath, he knew that he cannot make empty noise. And he said, you come to me with your spares, but I come to you in a name. There is a name I know. There is a covenant I have. There is a revelation. David and Goliath, on account of my covenant with Jehovah, I will take off your head and I know the power will flow. And God said, that is it. You have gotten the equation. Now you bring out the sling. How can an ordinary sling kill a man? A revelation produce power. Envoys of power. This is why you see all these things that are happening, happening. It will happen every time, forever. It's like a switch. When you know how to turn it on, you become an infant of fire. So you enter anywhere. You are an envoy. You know how to compel powers to bow. You know what to say to make them answer you. You know what to say to make them leave. You know what to say to dislodge the powers of darkness. There is something you must know there are many preachers who preach they listen to a man of god's revelation they copied it and they are pasting it they preach a message that is supposed to bring healing but healing does not happen they preach a message that should bring breakthrough but breakthrough does not happen take your place take your place Take your place, 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 call his name, Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Hallelujah. Hear me. When I caught this revelation, I was excited. And the first time we had the opportunity to organize our crusade as a ministry, it was now the time to put this in practical proof. Hallelujah. And in that crusade ground, there were sick people. There were all kinds of oppressed people. And when we began to see the power and the glory of God, I said this thing works it's not a lie the fault is not from God there is a fountain you can become a walking dispenser of the kingdom a dispenser of power when men shake you something will happen in your life because you are full of the word for everything there is a revelation even when you shake people you know that you are a blessing so that revelation will force something to get into them this may be the missing link behind your praying for the sick you have laid hands but you are just copying light has not come upon you there is no unction that supports what you are doing Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me.
Desperation of your soul. shall follow them not him them them a congregation a people who believe god enough to know that he's not playing when he says all power belongs to him he means it we are going to pray i like you to pray and say lord do something in my spirit that will cause light to enter me. I want to begin to see fruits. Come on now, pray. Koinonia, this is not how you pray. I want to see prayer warriors. I want to see men of prayer. Every demon power, hear me, every power, every yoke, right now, in the name of Jesus, come out of God's people, right now, come out, come out, come out, now, every force, every yoke, every hey. spell, inside and outside, I challenge you, go, Go. I command you every yoke that has tied you down, every yoke that has tied your family down, every curse, every protection, pray, pray. Pray. There is power. There is fire. Hey. When you pray, 
I command powers in the name of Jesus at Koinonia destinies are changed at Koinonia eyes are liberated at Koinonia generals are raised and voice of power and voice of grace men of dexterity men of authority men of audacity Confronting death, confronting territory, Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to pray for you. What many of us need is an unction from the Lord that will suddenly make the things you read become alive. It's a spirit. It's called the spirit of revelation. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. I want you to receive it inside and outside with all your heart. It's time for you to begin to walk as an ambassador hallelujah i'm going to count three and at the count of three i'd like you to shout the name jesus and as you shout something will come upon your life are you ready one two three take it 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 receive it the spirit of revelation outside take it outside let it come like fire eyes be open yes be open let the spirit of faith come upon you take it faith to believe faith to believe faith to believe Command miracles. Let blind eyes be open. Let deaf ears be open through your hands. Whoever you bless is blessed. Whoever you bless is blessed. When you speak, your words are backed up by an authority that is not of this realm. Your voice will be like the voice of God. Your voice will be like the voice of God. Whatever you stop will stop. Whatever you stop will stop. Whatever you bind is bound. Whatever you lose is lose. and voice of his presence I pray for you from today let the manifest presence of God let the angel of his presence begin to walk with you that everywhere you go you don't need to tell men you are anointed there is an angel of his presence that will go with you sinners will break down when they see you devils will cry out without you casting them i proclaim upon you from tonight you become an envoy of power an envoy of his presence an envoy of his glory under the apostolic unction i command as touching the grace given to me if i be sent of god let this mantle fall on as many people. Man, take it, take it, Bakata. 
Segete leka parakata. And voice of power. And voice of power. And voice of miracles. And voice of wisdom. And voice of breakthrough. Go and command breakthrough. Go and release your family members. The cause that has kept them. Go as a savior. Go and command marriages. Go and heal the barren. Let the barren be healed. Go and raise the dead. Go and raise the dead. Go and cast out devils. Prophesy business breakthrough to people. Prophesy career breakthrough. Your words carry power. Your hands carry power. Here at Koinonia, I stand as an apostle of God and I proclaim my God the same power that backs me. Let it back your people. The same authority that backs me. Let it back your people. Listen, the journey of my life, listen to me please, has been a journey of progressive walk with the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Listen to me please. Exactly a month ago, hear me, I was sleeping. And the Spirit of God woke me. He said, it's time for you to step into a new phase of the anointing. And a new phase. I always see it. I see a military man in the Spirit. And then a batch is added. And the Lord says, there are many more responsibilities. And there is an anointing. And I prayed, I said, Lord, you cannot just be empowering me alone. Your people need to walk in this kingdom power. And all through, the Lord had been brewing it in my heart. And the Lord kept telling me, it is my desire. Let your people believe me enough. Moses said, I desire that my spirit will even come upon everybody. My greatest desire is not to be one invincible man of God. No. But that there will be people. And you are these people. To spread across. Hallelujah. And from the time the Spirit of the Lord told me this, I knew that He increased the anointing upon my spirit. And He measured a thousand cubits. You can know, you can see a man that walks with God and say, This is different. Something has changed. A thousand cubits. And this is why whenever I receive it, I make sure that everybody is a partaker of it. If you don't walk with it, it is not my fault. But in the days to come as we prepare for next year, you will see things that will surprise you. When you are faithful with the level of grace that God gives unto you and you are diligent, you will know and everybody around you will know when something, a thousand cubits has been measured again and there is a rise. This is why I worship him. Brothers and sisters, don't get emotional about this meeting alone. And don't get arrogant over the anointing you have received. Listen, authority in the spirit 
is for you to go and be a blessing not to go and build an empire do not emulate these wrong things men of God try to bring to the body of Christ to make it look like there is one superstar let me tell you every one of us have been anointed and called whether in business whether in education these anointings are not just for healing the sick alone but opening people up to dimensions of the spirit and if you do not use this and you let it dormant it will dry up in your life hallelujah praise the lord you are going to pray just one prayer point and we are going to round up you are going to say lord this anointing i have received i want to see it working i'm tired of receiving things and falling down and i cannot say this is what happened please pray i beg you my brothers and sisters if you will pray this prayer from your heart say lord bring a sick body to me bring an oppressed person to me oh god bring a sinner my way let me put this unction and this revelation to work bring a family my way i'm ready to walk as an envoy of power pray and say lord the things i'm taught in koinonia i don't just want to be a listener i want to be on fire there are many of you who just love God casually. But today you are talking to the Lord and he's hearing you. You are saying, Lord, I'm joining the band of spiritual people on fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you an assignment. Everyone here, this week, I want you to call every member of your family and tell them, tell me one thing. I have been taught in Koinonia that I'm an envoy of power. Call your family members and say, what are the issues? I want to speak. I'm not agreeing with you. I am coming as an envoy. This is not the issue of agree with me. I am coming with an authority that is not of this realm. Whether they believe you or not, you don't need to be hard on them. Listen, sister, even if you look weak, everybody knows you to be a bad girl. Something has happened to you. Are you getting me? Don't let the devil take your yesterday and say, even you, you want to prophesy. Yes, even you. The Bible says when the spirit of God came upon Saul, he became another man. It is this another mind dimension that we are releasing you to go and manifest. That the people that have seen you, you are in a shop and people just see you sit down. Customers are not coming. And you say, mommy, watch what will happen. Father, just as I have been taught in the name of Jesus, I compel men to come and patronize this. And you sit back and suddenly you will see people coming out of everywhere. And you tell your family members, this is the signature of the kingdom the kingdom comes every time an envoy manifests the will of god so go to those families those barren people you know those neighbors you have never prayed for them because you are afraid you say the fiber is too big or the person is totally blind just try it try it everybody young and old make this week the week that you take steps of faith you are seeing one sinner that God is always talking to you that this person will be a great person. You are afraid of confronting the person. Let this be the week that you go in love and tell the person, my brother, I need to talk to you. Jesus loves you. And, and you will be surprised. Destroy. That this he said, but I am gone. You will see the person in other words, down. anytime you see me manifest, whether in a meeting, whether in a gathering and like this, I am come you know that he that may have life. Jam, writing jam, writing the word life, yes, not just you know eternal life, serious. you know, from it's eternal flow. So way, everything that, that comes with that life. Somebody fornicating every time. So he so loves healing, God. He's trying restoration, to stop. You tell him, I now know what is wrong. I just want you to let me pray for you. And ah, you say, Satan, thou foul devil of lust. 
you get out of because his life. somebody's and destiny you must change. Transformation that comes from his life. Some of you need to Hallelujah. The there door are people coming you all the way from over labels, your own life, scattered you around parts of this country, and you cannot. God is not joking. The and Bible says Abraham. He has not called the seed of Jacob. There are whole sister. families sitting inside and outside. Breaking. No child. Now I have Trust taught you God. here. That barrenness is not a medical this condition. This is one of those times when you will not need to fight. Condition. You will just stand and see the Lord there of is the presence of a spirit in that place. And if you don't get that devil out of there, they will the use every is kind yours, of medical therapy and it will not work. The battle is in yours, but mine. The battle is in yours, but mine. The battle is in yours, but mine. Yours but mine. The battle is in yours but mine. The battle is in That's what God is telling you. This fight over your family is no longer your fight this time. The battle is in yours but mine. The battle is in yours but mine. The battle is in yours but mine. Tonight you will be be delivered you will be restored i don't care what the issue is are you listening to me tumors cancers blindness deafness lameness all kinds of demonic oppression hallelujah activities of wicked spirits that camouflage themselves and cause problem and catastrophe Barrenness, late marriage, academic issues. I don't care what it is. The mistake the devil made was to allow you come upon this ground. Because there is a place called Mount Zion and many things happen there. The Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. And when all the forces of darkness that attempt to hold on to that which God has declared that is yours are given way, you will enter experientially into the blessing. Hallelujah. Tonight, in one minute, I'd like you to pray. Pray and tell yourself, Lord, this is my issue. Locate me tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Pray from your heart. Outside, make sure you're praying. God wants to visit people tonight. My father, wipe the tears of people, wipe the tears of families. Let ancient gates and doors be lifted. Once again, let there be an enthroning. Listen to me. Listen. There are some of you that what will be happening to you. I told you God is visiting families. Hallelujah. God will set altars of darkness on fire. There will be a separation. The Bible says blotting out. Every handwriting. Don't tell me there are no handwritings. You ask. The Bible says a hand came and wrote. There are still hands writing. And the Bible says blotting out. Hallelujah. God will be visiting people. See. Let your heart be open tonight. I know that there are people who are coming just to find out. Is this thing real or fake? Don't cheat yourself tonight because the Lord of glory is in this place. There are all kinds of people in this place. Open your heart and believe that the Lord is king and he will locate you. Refuse to be a spectator. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet everybody.
We see the rain of your love. We feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us keep. We see the rain of your love. We feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us keep. So let it rain. Tonight let it rain. Would you open the floodgates of heaven? Father, let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open the floodgates of heaven? One more time, let it rain. shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it. Who has prophesied to you that your family must remain in this way? There is a blood that speaketh better things tonight than every ancestral blood of darkness. And I'm going to pray right now and take authority. I tell you the time has come enough is enough everybody shout enough is enough say one more time enough is enough outside I'm telling you what the Lord shows me tonight there will be massive deliverances in this place hallelujah when we start we're just going to move fast so that we will conserve time Hallelujah. Those outside, lift your hands. Just the people outside. Those outside, lift your hands. At the count of three, the angels of deliverance will sweep across and ordinances of darkness. I'd like you to bring all the people. At the count of three, I'd like you to shout the name Jesus. Are you ready? Those outside, just the people outside. One, two, three. Oh, pareka tabaladabai. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The altars of Baal. Shake it, take it, posatai. We set altars of darkness. Shopekaya, like a mighty rushing wind. Move. The power of God is moving outside. In a mighty way, shake it, take a little to bata. So break it, the bush. I set a place. I set a place. Every power of darkness, every spiritual wickedness, shake it, take it, take it, take it. Every foul spirit, I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The power of God is moving outside. The angel of the Lord moving outside. God is shaking things outside. Shaking things. Shaking things. Shaking things. Every power of hell outside. Release God's people. The power of God is still moving outside. Those of you inside, lift up your hands. At the count of three, I like you to shout the name Jesus. Goodness, I see the angels of the Lord. And these are not the kinds of angels I see every miracle service. 
Hallelujah. There will be a shout, a healer, the instrumentalist at the count of three and the spirit of God on behalf of yourself and your family members. Are you ready at the count of three? One, two, three. Every demon spirit, every curse, every ordinary, bring them out. The Lord is releasing people from all kinds of bondages. The power of God is touching somebody outside. In a mighty way, somebody outside. A devil of darkness, you will let her go. Come out of her right now. Come out of her. Devil of darkness. 
out the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you tonight. Hallelujah. this girl go now. Foul devil of darkness. Come out of her. Out. You're free in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand up. Let this girl go now. Thou foul devil. In the name that is above all names. Out you go. Out now. Come out of her. Out of her. Please make sure everyone is connecting. This has nothing to do with falling down. God is visiting people. Look at me. You, look at me. Just look at me. No, you don't need to come out. Just look at me. Look at me. Just keep your eyes looking at me. Let this girl go now. The foul devil of darkness. I come against you and against the infirmity. Come out of her. going to visit this whole family. Hallelujah. Because I'm seeing the thing of darkness. This is what God is showing me. I didn't even know I was pointing to family members. Hallelujah. Mommy, let me pray for you. Because this is, this is a demonic thing trying to affect your health. Please hold my hands. Mommy, please. Look. Please. If you can shout Jesus as loud as you can. Can you? Just as loud as you can. Go ahead. In the name that is above all names. Please lay one hand on your chest. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. This is a curse of marital delay. Let her go. Now, thank you, Jesus. Come out of her, out of her, come out. 
you're free. Same thing. Come out of her right now. Devil of darkness. You're leaving. I see you in the spirit. You're going. It's time for this family to step into a new level. Be free. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Any lump, lump in your breast, lump anywhere is going to live right now. Make sure you check yourself. Instant miracles of lumps. I, I saw it and the Lord told me it's time. I want to pray it right now. I told somebody to come out. I brought somebody from that room. Who is the person? I told her God will visit her. Not the woman. Do you know why I called you out? The Lord will wipe these tears that you're crying tonight. Are you listening to me? Just look at me. Roll away. Shame and reproach. Roll away. Shame and reproach. Give her a new beginning, oh God. Visit her family. I want to rebuke lumps right now. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is, this is God is helping people. There are people you've had lumps, multiple lumps in your breast. It's going to disappear right now. Hallelujah. Maybe we'll have a few. Let me tell something with this lady. You notice she's always coming out. I will see her afterwards. A literal human being appears to sleep with this girl. This is what is responsible. This is, this, is, this is not just an issue of deliverance. This is an issue of help. This is a family thing. This is what the Lord is showing me. This is not just the devil coming. I mean, this is not in a dream. Uh -uh. You see, that's why whenever they come, these spirits leave her, but they don't go away. Early in the morning, they will reappear again. That's it. So, just, just let her be. God will set her free. Hallelujah. Are you ready, Lums? In the name of Jesus. Please, as soon as I pray for you, make sure you start checking yourself. Many of you will be shocked. It will look like magic. Maybe we'll take some testimonies here. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, every lump in your breast or any part of your body, your neck, your waist, wherever, right now, I command it to disappear. In the name of Jesus, I command it to leave. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Go ahead, begin to check yourselves. Come, bring that child. Can we have the mic, please? What's, 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 this, what's the issue? Help us with the mic, please. He has not been eating. Who brought him? Whose child is this? Where is his mother? If we are calling your child, Mama, please come. Let's save time. Huh? They came all the way from Kano. Yes, I asked them to come. You rejoice because you will know you'll meet God tonight. Amen. Please, somebody hold this child because you too. Come out of her. Out. Hold this child, please. You are the first to be visited. All the way from Kano. That devil. This woman is supposed to die before the end of the year. I curse this spirit. Out right now. Out of her with a loud shout you are going. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong with the child? He has not been eating. So we take him to the... Why did he have all this abnormality? The so, doctors. Madam, look at me. You are delivered. I don't know what it is that runs through your leg. But I'm seeing light. Power of God. 
Hallelujah. What happened to your child? Talk to us, please. Let's save time. I gave back to him normal. It was normal when I gave back to him. Okay. So when it was four months, we discovered that the front was enlarging. So we went to hospital after the scanning. They said that there is water in the head. That water came. Water? Yes. That's hydrocephalus. So we need doctors. Who is a doctor here? They said he was going to undergo operation. Not student doctor. Eh? Okay, come. Thank you, sir. What? They say hydrocephalus. What's that? Hydrocephalus is accumulation of water in, in the furnaces of the brain. Okay, what does it what does it lead to this? Yes. It will keep on enlarging until the capacity of the bone is able to contain it. So the bone itself will keep on enlarging and the sinuses, that is the sutures, will keep on expanding. Does it have a medical cure? Um, the only medical cure is to drain the water. But even as at that, I don't think it has a medical cure. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. That he might destroy the works of the Lord. See, the Bible says from the beginning it was not so. This is nonsense. Are you listening to me? And our job is to bring everything back to the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. This demonic, you did not create. Look at me. Come back. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Don't talk to her. She will come back. You will come back with a testimony. This child's head will start reducing. Are you hearing me? This child, it supernaturally, you will see it go back. Are you listening to me? Hold on, I know. I'm seeing a girl, baby girl. That was my first daughter. I lost her. Where is she? She's dead. She's dead. That's what I said. The spirit of death. You would have died before the end of the year because I'm seeing a baby girl. And then I didn't see her again. Where's your husband? He's in Canada. Get ready. A baby girl is coming again. Huh? Are you listening to me? Yes. I have three boys. I just gave birth. It was still a boy. I was not happy. That's what I'm telling you. Did, did you discuss this with me? Did you discuss this no. with me? Please, if I don't call any case, don't start bringing people I'm out, please. You for the first please, time but let her come out. You. If we, if if we don't call cases, please, we are taking this. I've me, I'm meeting you for the first time. That's what I'm saying. Knowing me is not important. It's the Lord Jesus Christ whom you know. He will come back here and give a testimony Amen. of a baby Amen. girl. Amen. All right, the flame of death, and tell your husband where is he walking. He work with the school. He and said, then what happened? He's still working. He's still working there. Yes. That's not where he's supposed to be. Huh? We take him to the rightful place. Amen. Where God will bless him. Because this, this has been a financial challenge. This is issue of money. Yes. Yes. Is that true? Yes. But you people too are not very faithful in tithing. So you must have been faithful in tithing. Huh? Did you discuss it with me? No. You will die it one today because of an emotional message. The only way God knows. You open the door for Satan. Hmm? Madam, you will go back with favor. Amen. I release upon you that grace for favor. Amen. You came with them. What's wrong with his ears? Uh, they took him to the hospital. He was. He he's was still as a result. It's as a result of all of these things. It's connected. Don't worry. As God is taking him back, there will be complete restoration. Amen. Hmm? Your son will not. You will come back here with testimonies. Who are you? You know them, or you are from Kano too? My elder sister. Your elder sister. Yes, Tell sir. me one thing you want the Lord to do for you. To heal. Think well, not him. You don't just talk carelessly. I'm not. Not many people will have the opportunity to be asked this question. Let me tell you. To help my family with open doors of favor. Where is your father? My father is late. 
Where's your mother? Behind them. No, no, no. I'm not saying she should come out. Okay. She's sitting there. You are a student? Yes. I finished my secondary school tonight. So I've been writing jumps since. This is what you would have asked. This is why I asked you. That's what I was praying for you. Eh? You have your relatives here, people who know you, who are also praying for you. Hold my hands. Get into the university. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever the problem is, we cancel it here right now. I don't care what it is. We admit you into any university of your choice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your number one desire. God will locate your family. Bless you. Where is, please, who brought this woman? Please, if we don't call your case, we are going to we are going to deal with this. If not, we'll have this place very rowdy now. Who brought this woman? Oh, yeah, come now. Who brought her? No, no, don't worry, don't worry. What's wrong with her? She has brain problem. Brain. She lost her memory. She lost her memory. She's lost her memory. She doesn't know you now. Ah. What happened? Don't know. I'm just her house help. Oh, you are just her house help. Come and help me. Look at this girl. Many house helps. This is the time to plunder and run away, Pastor. May God turn you from a house help to a great woman. This is your own blessing this night. Hallelujah. This is terrible. Thank you, Jesus. That devil of darkness, he will let this woman go. I bring you life. Life to these dead cells, dead brains. In the name of Jesus. Stand up. Stand up. Look at me. Just look at me. Just look at me. Just try to look at me. Come back to miracle. Find somewhere and keep this noise again. Sweetheart, I pray for you. May the Lord visit you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody brought somebody brought a very sick person. for them but the Lord is showing me you brought somebody is a sick person who is that person inside or outside please let's save time more God really wants to visit people and we don't want to waste unnecessary time here he will come back with testimonies for this woman it's terrible hallelujah the Lord is showing me someone literally feel as though they put pepper in your eyes when you look at light like this it burns you seriously this thing started this year who is that person please who is that person who is that person oh is she the okay come Who brought her? Mama? Does she, can I speak English or does she want answer? Come now. Why are you afraid? Huh? What's, what's the issue? Diabetes. Diabetes. It's affecting, also her eyes. it's affecting her eyes. I will pray for her. Tell her I will pray for her and the Lord will heal her. Is she hearing? Is she here? Mama, I will pray for you right now.
This is a spirit. Be healed of diabetes right now. I come against that foul spirit. Check herself. Find out that there's no diabetes again. You, you came for yourself. What's wrong with you? Um, it's not that I'm sick. Okay. I need marriage and. Uh, you want to get married? Go straight to the point. Look, let me tell you something. If we ask you to come out here and we and you are just talking stories, you go back to your seat. Praise God. This is this is a family. Nobody is against marriage here. Is that true? If you came here for marriage, when we are praying, receive it. Don't say my neighbor will look. You don't want to get married. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. Did you hear the testimonies of the marriage? Sir? The marriage yes, testimonies. Yes, Do you believe God is still at work in this place? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. Are you in a relationship? You need to be delivered first before marriage. Hmm? I release you from this curse. This is what has been holding her back. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. We will come back with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for supernatural marriages. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Some of you will need to outside. Are you, can you hear me outside? You can stand for yourself or for your family members. I want to pray. Make sure the person you want to get married to is of the opposite sex. Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Please believe the Lord. Because one of the things that has been happening in this place is supernatural inexplainable the hand of God lift your hands hmm. in the name that is above all names now there are some of you as I pray you see some of you what is stopping you is the hand of darkness for a few people not everybody because I'm seeing spirits the moment I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, the hand of God will come upon some people. Hallelujah. It will come upon them in a mighty way. That's what is stopping the marriage. Lift your hands. Not everybody you can receive, but there are some people, this is what they need. Hallelujah. When I say in the name of Jesus, I just wanted to shout, I receive. The moment you say that God will visit some people, I see God touching two ladies outside on this. This this marriage thing, we must deal with it this night. How many of you believe it? In the mighty name of Jesus. Now that devil of darkness that is responsible for delay in marriages. Come out right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. That devil of darkness that is responsible. The power of God is falling. That devil. There are spirits that are responsible for delay. Come out. 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 Come out.
out. These are demon spirits. Out in the name of Jesus. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Marital delay. The Lord rebuke you. I tell you, God is setting people free. Marital delay as is happening. Marital delay. Marital delay is a yoke of bondage outside. The fire of God is visiting a few people. All those above 30, 30 and above who have not gotten married, ladies, let God visit you now. I release that fire. Shake the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire of the Holy Ghost let there be testimonies of supernatural marriages this row I see an angel standing there is one lady the power of God will come upon you strong, that devil of darkness. Enough is enough, just this row. Because I see the angel of the Lord standing. Lord, let that person come out. The Holy Ghost will bring you out. You will come out. You will come out. You will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Leave her alone. She will come out. No. Hallelujah. I want to curse barrenness. Are you listening to me? Now is the time to stand for your loved ones, for yourself. Some of you lived all kinds of reckless past lives. As you are standing now, you may not even have a womb. A new one will come upon you. When God forgives sins, He forgives consequences. I don't care what the biological complication is. I like you to receive. You will come back with testimonies. Hallelujah. Now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That curse of childlessness. In the name of Jesus. I set you free. I set you free. I set your loved ones free. I set you free. Any barren person in this place, any barren family in this place, ma ta 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 ta, re ke te te te, re ke te te te, re ke bo shoto, ba to ko bo te ke, re ke te bo so ko to ba, le ke bo yata, ma re ke te 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 te, e ke bo ro to ba kata. You will come back with miracle children. You will come back with miracle children. Your loved ones will come back with miracle children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for a few people. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is showing me some people. You've been so you are an adult, but you don't know what happens. You've been suffering from bedwetting. You wake up in the morning and you find out that you are easing yourself on your bed. There's, no, there's nothing to be embarrassed. Man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are that kind of person. Come and stand out here quickly. Forget about who is watching you. Nobody has that time. Let me tell you. There are people like that, a devil of darkness. Inside and outside, this is a this is a demonic issue. There are people, oh, there are people. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. It's a spirit. It's not just about discipline. You can't stop it with discipline. I don't know why God is visiting that situation. Hallelujah. Let's take the next case. 
I'm seeing problems with your heart. Whether hole in your heart or any form of asthmatic condition. Please come out quickly. Hole in your heart or asthmatic condition. Please let's save time. That devil is a liar. I've, I had an accident. After the accident, they said my heart will enlarge and there is an uh, infection. It will, it will go back. Amen. Be free right now. Amen. Heart, return to your normal condition. Infection, go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. As I lay hands on you, whatever the issue is, you will be healed of it. Whether heart, asthma, be free right now. Please make sure you are coming out for the case we have mentioned. What are you coming out for? Feeling a hole in my heart. Always, ever since I saw from Osa. After Did the, the doctors service, tell you? Yes. After the treatment. The also that been disturbing me, but it's just for a while. But that whole sister, come, God will visit you. This has nothing to do with also. Hmm? Where's your you have an elder sister? Yes, where is she? She's in Abuja. Is she married? Yes, what was she doing? She's married, but the first child she gave birth to it has been a problematic child, but. This is six years now. She has not stepped her feet on the on the ground, and she has not started talking. And I'm all this why she has not given birth at all. Lay one hand on your chest. See, whatever is happening to one person here is happening to you too. Are you listening to me? You must believe it. This lady with yellow. That lady, you, 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 no, no, don't come out. Just lift your hands where you are. Both of your hands now, are you pledging? Look at me. Father, visit this girl. The Lord is showing me something about her. Lord, visit this lady. Set her free. It's like a mighty rushing wind. That spirit will not stand. It's looking like a knife is going through you. Set her free, Lord. What's wrong with you? Lay your hands there. Since when? Just lay your hands and look at me. Don't worry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart. Okay, just hold my hands as I pray for you. You'll be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Come. We love God very well. What of you is not true. How true is it? <laughs> eh? Shall we see how true it is? Lord, visit him. 
I break this addiction from your life. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Why did you say it's true? Because I believe in you. Ah, you do. Let it not corrupt your Christian testimony. God is not just visiting you, but your family. You are in for it with God this night because it's, it's multiple. Some families have put some people in trouble they don't know. Parents in their innocence have gone to do things in a bid to try to help the of Jesus Christ. Be made whole, be free. This is what is happening. This thing is all the way from Lagos. This is God setting this lady free. Sometimes we do things, parents be careful. You go to places and do things believing you are helping your children. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. I release you in the name of Jesus Christ because God wants to use you in your mighty healing ministry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. My brother, God is calling you this night. When I make the altar call, before I finish, just run and come and stand here. Right? This is your night. Eh? There is no issue of running to God and then... God brought you because we love you. Okay? You deserve You deserve You deserve The lifting of my You deserve Just walk with me. You deserve. Don't be looking at me. Don't worry. What this means this is confusion and this is why god is telling me this is how your life is that's why i held you and i was walking god wants to set you free from serious confusion you are easily deceived anybody can tell you anything and that's why i was moving around this does not this is confusion you get easily deceived anybody just say anything and you believe can i pray for you Hold my hands, both of your hands. Hmm. Satan, it's time up for you with this lady. Foul spirit. You will let this lady go, release her. You can't stand it. I've seen you in the spirit. God is against you. This demonic thing must leave you. So pakapata, rekete bola kuso preti kadebos. That you will have a strong heart. The Bible says, "Be wise as serpents." What are you here for, my sister? Why you oh, while you were praying, you saw yourself on the ground. You decided to come and report yourself. <laughs> what do you think God is doing? 
Just stretch your hands like you're receiving something. Look at me. Truly, you will receive something. Just look at me. Come heavy because you are receiving spiritual things. <laughs> you can't hold it, it's too heavy for you. For you and for all your family members, may God visit you. God is not done with you. There is a fire that will burn you. The same thing will be happening to your family members. You need to be free. You love God, but there are all kinds of encumbrances. This night, this one is not just deliverance. This one is God catching you finally for him. Lord, take over her whole life from head to toe. Take over everything you can take over in this lady's life. Cares, go! Cares, go! Yes, go! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray. Just leave her out because she's not recovering soon. This one is not just deliverance. God is taking, I have found my servant David. This is what is happening. When God finds a man, he doesn't leave you easily. He makes sure that you rise up with a hunger that nothing else. I trust God that this will happen to many people in this place. Man. Because I tell you, pastor, a lot of people are in certain situations because they love God but they have cares. So they, are, they, are, they easily become praise. It's not enough to, to be healed or to be delivered. Your heart must be with God for you to walk in sustainable victory. Many people like miracle service. They just run and come and take the miracle and then they run away. But let me tell you something. Your heart come sister. Unto him come who sits on the throne let God find you today are you hearing me to Jesus the lamb who was slain hold my hands father find a vessel in this lady do with her what only you can do ignite a fire in her spirit even as you have revealed to me let this lady have a, a passion that cannot be quantified in the name of Jesus every spiritual weakness leaves you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the lamb who was slain hallelujah The Lord is healing my grain headache. The Lord is healing my grain headache. My grain headache. Intense. My grain headache. Where's my neighbor? Is she here? She, she didn't come. Please come. Tonight the Lord is going to visit you. See, many of you don't know that there's something called the season of God's visitation. Who is precious here? Precious. You are precious. Your real name, oh, the one precious. <laughs> Make sure it's the name your father gave you, not the one you gave yourself. This night, say, I must be precious. God, he must visit me. Many people threaten me with text messages during the miracles. I say, See, God must visit me. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
the Lord is visiting you. Hold my hands. This demon of marital delay is going. You will go to a real deliverance, right? Come out! Come out of her! Sata Kabalata Pokosia. The fire of God is burning your whole body from head to toe. It's a foul spirit. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. It, I'm announcing it this night. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. That foul devil, come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Secretary. Come out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Come out to a foul spirit. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted. This is a snake. Look at look at what is happening. Look at what is happening. I see. Look at look at this. This is what is responsible. Come out. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Zombe ketek liar. Brata pata kata baladaba. Just leave her. He cannot stand. He's going. Now, foul devil, you will release her. There is no hiding. The power of God is against you. You will go and return no more. And as you are going, I call forth your husband, not a man. Your husband. Your husband. Precious. All of you. All of you are. No, no, no. I didn't ask my green to come out. But since you came out, may God visit you. You have an elder brother? Where is he? He's in Abuja. Doing what? He's. No, he's doing nothing. He went for holidays. Which holiday? He went to Hosu. Tell him to come back. This is what happens to people. They, they just believe that bread is in Abuja. Let me tell you. If some of you want to run you want to fake visa and run to germany can i tell you something the bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west because some of you are already planning you just believe you say you are running where to say greener pastures the bible says he makes me lie down in the green pastures is the presence of god don't feel embarrassed Okay. May the Lord visit you and visit your brother in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be a great teacher of the word. Huh? You will be a great teacher of the word. Something like light will hit your eyes right now. And God will give you the spirit of revelation. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Open his eyes. Open his eyes. You will be rich, oh. Because you have suffered, you will be rich. And look at me, I'm not just, this is not entertainment. I'm telling you the word of the Lord. Huh? Never forget the house of God, but you will be mightily blessed. How it will happen, we will make people think you went to diabolic, you went and did diabolic things. May the Lord bring this to pass. You will see it happen. Some of you don't know that God will use you more than you have planned. You just think you will just be passive in the house of God and not do anything. No way. God knows how to get you. He will bring you for miracle service quietly. While you are thinking fashion and business and this... God is thinking fashion plus ministry. It's not just fashion, oh my dear. And beauty makeup is, is, is a serious call. My name is Precious. Where's your mother? Where? Do you believe God wants to visit your family? Yes. Tell your mother.
to forgive everybody that has done whatever. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Who offended her? It was one of our uncles. She said, Abba. To her, she said that he, she used to tell us as our children that that he maltreated This thing, her. since when she was small when till was now, small. this is what is stopping her breakthrough. Did you discuss this with me? No. Let her forgive, please. For as long as you keep somebody down, part of you will still be down. Is that true? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. All those who are called into the worship ministry, please, listen. If you come out here, I, I don't mean you like singing or you have a passion. No, I, I like singing. I'm not called into the worship ministry. You get my point? Please, don't be emotional about, about it. Come and line up here quickly. Quickly, God wants to visit people. I don't know why worship ministry will be alive to see you if after this prayer worship ministry ah. please think about it oh. <laughs> see the worship ministry is not a hobby blessed is he If there's no space, just stand where you are because fire, there's going to be a restoration of the Davidic order of worship. Believe it. I'm going to stand. Listen, as I walk around this place, the power and is, is fire that will come. It will catch many of you in a mighty way. Lord Jesus, as I begin to take it, take it right now. Take it. Fall. Fall. Take it. Take it. Take the fire. 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 The Davidic order of worship. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Sing like angels. Receive it. It's coming on you. Lift up your hands, all of you that came to the front. My God, let it fall right now. My God, let it fall right now. To those standing at the door, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it, healing anointings. Matoporosa time. Take it. Make sure you are receiving it. Anointings on places. Anointings on places. You will write song. Many of you will hear songs in your spirit. New songs, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Receive it, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, songs of power, songs of light, songs of grace. Songs of healing. Listen. Consecration is the key. Consecration is the key to a life of true worship. Consecration. Thank God for the music dimension, but consecration is the key to a genuine life you want to stand some of you are already looking for money if this is your ambition you will not get this davidic anointing it doesn't happen that way your heart must pant after god and after his kingdom you must stay in the place of training until he builds you oh let it fall Yes, Lord, let it fall. Let it fall. 
as it were in the days of Jehoshaphat. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Dimensions. Lord, release it from the east side of the temple. Let there be a releasing. Songs of power. Songs of the spirit. Hallelujah. So that we will do mighty things for our God. Hallelujah. Please go back to your seat. Thank you, Jesus. Did you bring prayer requests? Please pass them quickly. Now, all those who are sick, inside and outside, please, I'd like you to come out quickly. While this is happening, be passing the prayer request. Please, let's save time. Do it quickly. Mighty things are happening in this place. Man, de 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 bakoso so so bato do 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 prato shubata. Zike te 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 preke te pele de bush. Please don't be in a rush this night, because what God wants to do, He has not finished. Zizi zizi mene ke te pele de bush. Please, you are sick. Come out, just ushers help me and line them up, please, please. Quickly, quickly, this is a miracle service. As you come and stand, trust God for your miracle. Trust God for your healing, please. If you are doubting, just go back to your seat. Anybody who is, please play the instruments. Anybody, mic, music director, whoever. Those of you, those of you staying, make sure you are praying for them. As I lay my hands on you, I want to assure you. Please believe God for real miracles. Some of you as you are standing, because there is a healing river, as you are standing, you can't stand that majestic healing presence of the Holy Spirit. It's a majestic presence. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch, help me, Pastor. Please help him with your mic. Is flowing. Jesus, Jesus. we, we Make sure you pass your prayer request. I tell you, there is a healing river. There is a healing river. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. Holy Spirit, gentle touch is I pray for you begin to check yourself. Jesus, we believe Jesus. There is healing in your name, Almighty Father. Almighty Father, we lift our hands to you to receive the power. You would do. 
requests. Those outside, God will soon do something mighty. The Lord is showing me a vision right now. It will rain is here tonight to meet you in the pond of your knees. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see healing. I see breakthrough. I see miracle here tonight. Probably one of the biggest miracles that will happen in this place tonight. Many of you don't know what a breakthrough is. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age, and God had blessed him in all things. This is what we call breakthrough. Hallelujah. Please, if you have not submitted your request, let me tell you where we got the revelation of this. The Bible says, and they sent a threat letter to Hezekiah. Remember? And the Bible says Hezekiah took the letter and came and dropped it on the altar and showed God the threatenings. And when that happened, there was wisdom that was revealed and they strategized worshippers. And the Bible says that they began to fight themselves in the camp. You will see a lot of confusion as we begin to pray for this thing. I don't mean confusion here. Confusion in the camp of the enemy. Whatever request you brought in this place, I really want, many of you don't know what God is doing this night. God is setting people on fire. We have a few minutes remaining. But God will visit you. We want you to come back with evidences that God touched you. See, when you get results, it's a consolation to your Christian work. Are you listening to me? Those outside, look at some of you standing Standing right across, I see you. God cannot allow you to go back the same way. It's impossible. You didn't come to meet an idol. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet, everybody. It's a very prophetic moment right now. As we pray, I'd like to ask the ministers, Pastor Williams. Pastor. So. Please, 
if you've not written your request, drop it. God is doing great things in this place. As we begin to pray on this request. Hallelujah. Pray along with us. Prophesy. Stretch your hands and pray. Tell the Lord, this is my request, O oh Lord. This is my request. Father, locate people. Locate people, O oh God. Locate cases. There are, there are difficult cases. Cases of barrenness. Deliverances for families. Lord, this is an altar you have sanctified. In one accord we pray. Just lay your hands across it. As we release the virtue of perfection. Total breakthroughs. Academic breakthroughs. Make sure you are praying. Say, Lord, my request in this is in this place. Locate it. Those online, we are connecting with them also in the spirit. Those following us on all of our online channels. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Release breakthroughs to families. We sanctify these requests. These Egyptians will never be seen in families and lives again. Change stories, oh God. Hallelujah. Omnipotent Father, Lord God of mercy and grace. The God who says a thing and accomplishes in the life of his children. The I am that I am. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. Who is there like unto you? You are greater than the greatest. You are stronger than the strongest. You are mightier than the mightiest. You're the one who sits in the heavens and you made the earth your full stool. You are great. You are greatly to be praised. We thank you because of this opportunity that you have given unto us, O oh God, to bring down our needs, our supplication, our request unto your feet. You said in your word that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly far above all we ever ask, think, or imagine according to the power that is at work within us. We thank you, O oh God, because we know that every need that has been penned down, every request that has been written down, you have already seen it. You have already seen it. And because you have seen it, we thank you because this, this request are seen by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we see you doing great things in this place tonight. Thank you for the testimonies. Thank you for the testimonies that are coming out from this pen down written notes. We thank you for the testimonies coming out from this. In the name of Jesus, we bless you because we know that we will come here next time to give you thanks of what you have done. Thank you Lord because every need, every need, every need here, they are met. Amen. We give you thanks. Thank you, Lord. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. Oh God, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. For we know that.
Let all things work together for our good. We give you thanks. We give you praise. For by faith we know your grace. We see us through. Praise the Lord. My God, as I pray, you gave me an anointing to bless, an anointing to release. Father, as many people as are in this place, inside and outside, they came here hungry. And Lord, as I speak on behalf of the government of heaven, let these words be so effectual. Let these words be fervent. Respond, O oh God. Every word I declare, let there be testimonies that will return. Every word that I'm about to declare to you, Please, when I pray, I like you to shout amen with all your heart. Because I sense a very strong prophetic anointing coming upon me. I really want to speak from the depths of my heart. I don't just want you to believe it. I want you to return. The Bible says, and the 70 returned rejoicing. Hallelujah. I want to pray for families. Lift your hands. Let's start with families right now. Please, I'd like you to shout amen with all your heart. Hallelujah. Every family represented in this place, every family, any curse, any ordinance of darkness, every yoke of bondage, afflicting any family I set you free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. father mother brothers sisters be free be free, be free, be free, be free, be free, be free. Oh, you will come back with testimonies. Anyone here, whether you or your family members looking for a job in the mighty name that is above all names between today and the next 40 days i place a demand upon the heavens receive miracle jobs receive miracle jobs Receive miracle job for you, for your loved ones. Institutions 
carry their names in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Those with any kind of academic issue, I don't care what it is, any kind of academic, whether missing scripts, you are on probation, you are trusting the hand, whatever it is. You are doing your project, things are difficult. Whatever academic issue tonight, in the name of the Lord God of Israel, the one who does wonders in this place, I declare, step into a season of academic victory. Step into a season of academic victory. I release you from any kind of bondage. I release you any kind of academic bondage. Be free. Be free. Amen. Be free. Amen. Hallelujah. All those who are due for marriage, whether you or your love, your loved ones, See, let me tell you in this place, once you are of marriageable age, you must marry. Are you hearing me? Are you listening to me? What did I say? Right. Hallelujah. Somebody married, that's why you are here. You must marry. Praise God. Are you listening to me? Right now, I speak as a servant of the living God. I've prayed about it, but I will pray again. I pray. Some of you, you are a lady, you are pretty. But no man can come around. This is a curse. Tonight I pray that your wives and your husbands, those of you who, are, who have concubines and etc. When I make the altar call, run out here. Because this is what will stop you. You are entitled to only one wife. Say amen. You are entitled to only one husband. Say amen. amen. The spirit of double dating dies here tonight. Amen. Leave another sister's husband to locate her husband. Leave another brother's wife to locate him. But I pray in the name of Jesus, before the end of this year, may there be fearful or inspiring Miracle marriage. Take it. Take it. God told it before December 31st, 2013. Come back with testimonies for yourself, for your loved ones. We supply the resources. We supply the grace. disease in this place HIV whatever it is hallelujah infections all kinds of satanic names I declare right now we curse it from the root in the name of Jesus anyone here whose genotype is SS or AS in the name that is above all names be changed be changed to AA I change it in the name of the Lord receive it receive a change of genotype you will come back with testimonies believe it, receive it everything he made he made it beautiful any kind of demonic dreams and oppressions of darkness. Some of you see people sleep with you. Some of you see all kinds of demonic things. Molestations of darkness. I pray right now. The last time you had that dream or that experience, let it be the last time forever in your life. I said let it be the last time forever. Let it be the last time forever. Satan, I curse you. I cause every foul Amen, amen, amen. All those who 
our students and are in final year, I declare those who need the mercy of God for their graduation, I pray right now, let policies be changed. Let something happen in your faculty that has never happened. We release you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy restoration. Whatever it is that you have lost, whether as a result of your past or mistakes, opportunities, graces, I pray that the God who regulates times and seasons, let that season come back to your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every lecturer in this place or those who your parents are lecturers stand for them, I want to speak. There are lecturers whose promotions are overdue. Is that true? Is that true? In the name that is above all names, this night we command. Even offices that are not available, we create it for them this night. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. The king sent for Joseph. Tonight, I connect you with supernatural destiny helpers that will take you from where you are to the next level. I connect you. I call for the helpers of your destiny. Financial helpers. Marital helpers. Career helpers. Spiritual helpers. Receive their ministry in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray any project anyone is doing here, whether you are your whether building project, whatever it is, for you and for your families, you are building a three-bedroom flat that's taking over 10 years. This is a curse. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be supernatural supplies. The beds that brought food for the prophet. I command may they locate your family I open up the heavens over your family in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah one of the things God is doing in this season is preparing people for dimensions of prosperity that will scare people. Hallelujah. God is seriously looking for men who he will trust. These men will not just get well, they will be trained. The first thing you need is the staying grace. The school is not easy, let me tell you the truth. But happy are you when you pass through it because you will command well that will make you afraid. I pray for you. Every curse of poverty and lack. There are some of you who are kingdom financiers. The power of God will come upon you. Kingdom financiers. Kingdom financiers. Kingdom financiers. Kingdom financiers. Now I pray for everyone. This curse of poverty that is upon many lives and families that has closed the heaven over many people in the name of the Lord Jesus this night by the sure mercies of the God of David I command your heavens to be open I command your financial heavens be open be open be open be open be open be open that bring prosperity favor and wisdom hallelujah money comes through favor it is preserved through wisdom the bible says through wisdom is a house built and by understanding it is established through knowledge the rooms are filled with every treasurable thing i pray 
let your hands receive wealth that only God can give inexplainable but undeniable receive it in the name of Jesus let me tell you brothers it is not by power when it comes to prosperity it is not by might it is by the spirit of God hallelujah two more things and we're up I want to pray for favor this is one of the things we enjoy in abundance hallelujah I cannot tell you how the favor of God works no man can explain it but I know it works I know it works I am a testament if you believe I want you to believe many of you, you you are used to suffering you don't know what the favor of God can do some of our family members what you need is the favor of God Bible says in Isaiah 44 verse 3 said they got not into their land they got not the land by their possessions neither did their arms save them but because you had you showed favor towards them please believe one encounter of favor I tell you it can it can it can keep you in a position for a lifetime believe it there is something called divine favor what you see today is the evidence we have never paid a dime for this venue the last miracle service i still don't know who paid for the venue this is the favor of god i want you to believe it if you want to work for everything in your life get set to die hallelujah lift your hands let me pray for you favor for many of you to come on you this is what you need i'm telling you this is what you need families what you need is favor not stories my god my god i pray in the name of jesus the favor that is upon koinonia i take it and i release it to your life take it now take it now take it now take it now, take it now. i activate favor 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 with God favor with man favor receive it favor Koinonia is called the place of intimacy and partnership with the Holy Spirit hallelujah you cannot come here tonight and not be on fire for God you cannot be here tonight and not be on fire for the things of the spirit hallelujah hallelujah i want to release grace that your spiritual life will stand strong and solid many of you your prayer altars are dead it's not because you don't love god hallelujah many of you one leg in one leg out last year you were on fire this year hallelujah many of our mothers fathers people at home our prayer life our word life we're looking for things that only the word of god can give us but jesus said to martha i said one thing is needful one thing one thing i want to pray for you hallelujah alongside with this i want to pray for the distribution of the gifts of the spirit hallelujah Paul said, I long to come to you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established. A powerless Christianity, and I'm not talking of just falling out. Christianity with results. Christianity with proofs. We have too many talkatives in the body of Christ. Inside or outside. Some of you have been crying and said, Lord, can't my life not have proofs? Can the sick be healed through my hands too? Can I not bless people and it will work for them? Hallelujah. 
Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. I consider it to be an all important impartation. Please get ready because it will come upon you. Different kinds of gifts of the spirit. Stirrings of the spirit. At the count of three. I want you to shout Jesus. At the shout of that name. Some of you will. Will be set on fire literally. So that your spiritual life will be hot. So that God will use you and do wonders. Are you ready? Shout it with all your heart at the count of three. One. Two. Three. of grace that God has given me entrepreneurial ideas that will raise financial giants lift your hands everybody in the mighty name of Jesus take it take it take it take it Jesus. take it fruitful life. Amen. May your life be a fruitful life. Amen. May God bring results to your life. Amen. To be a consolation to your Christian work. Amen. Any life that has not been experiencing results that you have never testified, may this be your month. Any life that has not been experiencing results, may this be your month. You believe this hallelujah I want to give you an opportunity inside and outside if you've never given your heart to the Lord please keep standing everybody you've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah you've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ hear me inside and outside you are hearing my voice right now you have seen the works of the lord it's time for you to get into a real relationship with god or for some of you you have given your heart to the lord hallelujah but you found yourself derailing inside and outside the lord is speaking to you mother father whoever i want you to leave your seat and come out here right now i want to lead you and reconnect you back to the king of kings 
the lover of your life inside and outside right now leave your seat and come koinonia appreciate them as they come everybody thank you thank you they are coming god bless you don't be ashamed don't be afraid god bless you thank you thank you our mother is coming celebrate them koinonia outside don't let the devil stop you mother father whoever yes it's time to surrender surrender appreciate them it doesn't matter what your past is god can give you a new beginning go allow the person you came with to stop you this is the greatest miracle another jesus keep clapping keep clapping they are still coming the holy ghost is convicting them inside and outside thank you jesus we will connect you to the maker of your life God bless you, brother. And I surrender. God bless you. Hallelujah. I want to celebrate you for your bold decision for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. People close their eyes when they are about to get born again as if what they are doing is wrong. This is the greatest miracle. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that we celebrate you. Some of you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time. Others have given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. I want to pray for you. The Lord loves you and he wants to make meaning out of your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you in front. I'd like you to say after me and mean it from the depths of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I thank you for dying for my sins this night I believe that Jesus is Savior and Lord and I accept him my name is in the book of life I declare that I'm saved the Holy Spirit is in me eternal life is mine from today I denounce sin and Satan and every past life and I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life. My sins are washed away. It's a new beginning for me. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you. You brought these ones by your spirit. You brought them to bless. You brought them to reconnect them to the maker of their lives. My God, I pray that their salvation will last. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that you do mighty things through their lives. I pray that many destinies will be blessed. The reason and the purpose for which they came to the earth, let it be discovered and maximized. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that every encumbrance, everything that keeps you in the path that is not of God, you are free for me today. There is grace for you. You will enjoy a victorious fellowship with the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We celebrate you. Please, I'd like you to follow the ushers. They'll have your details. And we'll send you a text and get across to you. Pastor Jakes is not around. But we'll send, we'll make arrangements. And I'll be there by God's grace to see you. God bless you. Please, tomorrow, together with them, all those who have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues, six on the dot, please be at the chapel. I will be there to minister to you. Hallelujah. Six on the dot, be at the chapel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up. We are closing. Thank you for waiting this long. All those who are worshiping with us for the first time, inside and outside, we love you and we believe God brought you here to bless you. I'd like you to jump on your feet and rush out here quickly. Celebrate them, Koinonia. If this is your first time, please, inside and outside, you are special. We have a prayer for you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All those who invited them, I pray that every good thing will come into your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Keep clapping. They are still coming.
Thank you. Thank you, Sas. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Thank you. Keep clapping until they come. They are special to us. They are the evidence that God is at work in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.